things happen in our lives, don't they? Sometimes when we're children, sometimes when we're young, sometimes when we're adults. And things are done to us that we can't always control. And then the hooks of anger and bitterness, resentment, even fear get caught in our hearts. And, you know, Jesus said, I came to set the captives free because he understands all of that. In this scenario, Elizabeth was, was contemplating taking her own life. That can seem like such an easy out, you know? It's a very permanent solution to what sometimes is a temporary problem. And then the other voice saying, no, hang in there, things are going to get better. You know, she just hung in there, not even believing really that things would get better, but God had a plan. He had a plan for her and for her life, and he does for you too. And it doesn't matter what's been done to you in the past, as hurt as you may be, God can redeem that for you. He is the redeemer, the one who takes what was lost and redeems it back. The one who sets you free from bitterness and resentment and anger and fear so that you can live life abundantly. Jesus said that too. I've came that, I come that you might have life and have it abundantly not to live halfway, not to live feeling squashed down by people, by circumstances, but to live it abundantly. If you're not experiencing that, then you don't know the one who created you with intention and purpose. But you can today, you can right now. You know, so much of this is based around trust and also that magic word that was used in Elizabeth's story, hope. I want to give you hope today as we talk that there is someone who loves you beyond your understanding or imagining, who forgives you no matter where you've been or what you've done, and who then empowers you to live a different life. And it begins with coming to the end of yourself and saying, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. I know you know I'm a sinner. I need a savior. And I'm asking you to be my savior, to be the Lord of my life, to forgive my sins as far as the East is from the West. You know each and every one. I'm asking you for a new beginning. I'm asking you to come into the middle of my life, into the center of my heart. And I am surrendering all that I am and all that I have to you. Make me yours, teach me your ways, change the way that I think. Help me to hear your voice when you speak to me, to see you at work in my heart and my life. Open up your word to me as I read it so I can know the promises of God and receive them for myself. I ask for the gift of eternal life and I thank you, Jesus, for loving me while I was still a sinner and for waiting for me all this time today I'm coming home to the heart of God and I'm asking you to live in my heart for all eternity. And I ask this in Jesus' mighty name, amen. It's that simple. What do you do now? Well, we've got a wonderful packet that Pat's put together for you. It's called A New Day. It's filled with information on how do you follow Jesus? How do you walk with him? This is yours for free. Call our toll-free number. It's 1-800-700-7000. We'll get this out to you right away. Just say, I'd like the New Day packet.